Okay, that is the horns guy, as I like to call him, Jacob Chansley. Possibly, for a while, the most notorious January Sixer. Remember running around the uh, the Capitol? One thing I noticed about him, I never saw any evidence that he broke anything or hurt anybody. And the times I heard him talk, he was actually quite polite. Uh, but he became the face of the insurrection, so-called insurrection. It wasn't an insurrection. Mainstream media hated him, and so did the judicial system. He got how many years? More than three years in prison, pleaded guilty to multiple charges. But did you see Tucker Carlson last night? And did you see our footage uh, from earlier in the show? From his show, by the way. Tucker, uh, there he is, just walking around, uh, basically escorted by police, almost like the police are cooperating with him, as if they're facilitating uh, the horns guy in the Capitol. They're not arresting him. They're showing him around. It's absolutely extraordinary. It's totally wild. What does this mean? And why didn't his attorney have this footage uh, before that guilty plea was entered? Let's, we're joined now by Martha Chansley. She is Jacob Chansley's mother, the so-called horns guy or the shaman or whatever you want to call him. I think he was totally mishandled in all this. Uh, welcome, Martha Chansley. How are you? How is your son? Hello, thank you for having me. Uh, he's doing well. Actually, he's doing really well. Uh, considering all the circumstances, he's in good spirits. All right, well, he's in federal prison. I'm glad to hear that he's in good spirits in federal prison. That's a tough place. How do you feel about this footage? Let's see it again, please. You got the cops who seem to be cooperating with him, and he's cooperating with police. He's not being arrested. If he was such a menace, if he was the face of the so-called insurrection, they would be detaining this guy. They would not be <laughs> palling around with him. What do you make of this? And tell me, did your lawyer ever see this stuff, or did his lawyer ever see this stuff? I couldn't, I couldn't, I have no idea if his lawyer saw that. I know that um, there was some footage that he saw, but I, I don't know that it was that. I have no idea. Well, to me, and let's take a look at the lawyer, Mr. Watkins, um, <laughs> a bit of a character. To be honest, I wasn't terribly impressed. I got to talk to him once or twice. I think some of these guys had a bad rap. Do we have the picture of the lawyer? Uh, I think we might. Um, there he is on my show. Was your son satisfied with his services? Well, you know, I, I, I can speak for myself. Pardon me? Uh, and, and uh, well, to answer your question, no, I don't think that he was fully uh, pleased with um, Al Watkins at all. No. So, you know, a lot of people listen to the news and perhaps uh, the attorney thought, oh, gosh, you know, this is so bad. This is the worst thing since the War of 1812. This is worse than 9-11. Got it in his head, somehow prejudged his own defendant. I don't know. I'm just wondering why your son is in jail for so much time and uh, he didn't break anything. He didn't hurt anybody. And the cops may have hand a, had a hand in showing him around. What do you want to say, Martha Chansley? Uh, what, 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 what's your message today? Well, my message today is I'm really happy that the truth of that day is being revealed. That's the very, those are the very things that Jacob spoke about, that that's what he did when he was there. He went through open doors. He was escorted into the Senate. He was escorted around. And you, as you said, you can see that they're, they're following him. They're trying to check doors for him to go through. It's it's certainly an, an it's an injustice. Well, let me ask you this, because uh, and maybe this is in the conspiracy theory realm, but uh, your son was in the Navy, correct? Yes. Now, there has been speculation, which at first I dismissed and I'm not accepting it now that, uh, you know, he was a double agent, that he was. You know, he was anti-Trump then he was pro-Trump and that he was Antifa and not Antifa. And you can see here, they're kind of cooperating with him and he's cooperating with them like they're working on some project together. What is your takeaway, if any? I mean, was he working with them? Was this some sort of information operation? This is not a crazy theory, oh, by the way. I would have said so a couple of years ago, maybe, but now everything's on the table. Not that I know of. <laughs> he never told me that, no, I, no. 
there's no inside job. Let me there's, ask you this. There's nothing of that nature. Um, as far as Trump goes, he he has been and still is a supporter of Trump, President Donald Trump. All right. Now, look, do you think this footage, um, I mean, you, it, it changes the game somewhat. Are you thinking of hiring a, another lawyer? Is he thinking of hiring another lawyer? Does he want another trial? Should this verdict be thrown out? Um, I think he's got a case here. This is new evidence that he may not have had access to, and it looks like he didn't. Um, maybe this changes the game. What's next? Those are great, great questions, Greg. I, I, I honestly cannot give you a very good answer. I, we're just going to have to wait and see. We'll wait and we're see. We're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Because cause... I, 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 I don't know. I think that um, we're going to have to weigh out some options. Where is he in prison, by the way? Where is he serving? He is in Safford, Arizona. And uh, how's he doing with the diet? I understand he was a vegan, and that was a real issue for him when he was in jail. At least that's what the reports were. How's he making out with the food? Um, just to clarify, um, he uh, is—he's not vegan anymore. He was—he has to—he was needing to eat organic food. All right. Oh, okay. Is he yeah, getting he, that? Yeah. No. Mm. No, they're not. They're not. They're not honoring that, so he is having to consume the food that they have. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. By the way, by the way, I want to show that picture that we've been showing a lot, the right this way picture. It looks like, to me, by the way, I was suspicious of the police and what they did vis-a-vis -vis your son when I saw this picture. Let's take it full, if you don't mind, because they just, <laughs> that officer seems to be directing them to the Senate chamber. And it's totally yeah. bizarre. And then later, that officer follows them right in to the Senate chamber. No effort to detain, to thwart, to arrest. It is totally weird. These questions haven't been answered. They haven't even been asked by the January 6th committee and most of the media. I think your son is the victim of an injustice. I do. Uh, I could be wrong. But uh, we'll see. Martha Chansley, we appreciate it. Good luck. Say hi to uh, the Horns guy when you get a chance, okay? Thank you. And you know what? If you want, you could call him America's Shaman. America's Shaman? That. America's Shaman. All right. I don't and even know what it is. So to be honest, I don't know what a shaman is. I'm going to stick to the Horns guy. But I also call him Jacob Chansley as well. So uh, I appreciate it so much, Martha. Good luck. And uh, let's stay in Thank touch, you. okay? If I can ever be of you help. Bet. You bet. We'll be right back. Thank you.